Hi, I'm Dr. Mike Searcy. In this video, I want to explain a little bit about the LinkedIn project and what, what it is we're doing. First off, let's talk a little bit about social media and profiles. I don't know whether or not you have a Facebook account. I suspect, based on the number of people in the world that do, you are probably one of them. I don't know if you're still on MySpace or if you were ever on MySpace or WeChat or any of the other social media sites where you can actually create profiles and put up a social media presence. Well, by the time we're looking for a job or looking to advance our career or looking for a promotion or any of these things, one of the first things that any interview committee will do is Google or somehow use a search engine and look up your name. And if there are things, for example, on your social media profile that comes up because Google will eventually catch it, people will look at that. And if there are things on that social media profile that are objectionable in any way, whether it's a political ideology that is being expressed, whether it's alcohol use or uh, any any t-shirt that might be saying something that might be objectionable or anything along these lines you will never know why you never got the call for the interview people will immediately dismiss you because their question is do we want this person whose private life is now public representing our company and that can become a problem if you're the kind of person that plays games on Facebook, for example, where they ha you have to actually collect all these friends and the larger number of friends that you're connected to to play the game and you can get points that may or may not matter in the grand scheme of things. My suggestion to you, the day that you're looking for a job and start looking for a job, is to defriend, unfriend, or release those contacts who you don't know personally for whatever reason. Because what you might wind up is if you're profile is already set to private, it's going to be uh, set up so that, uh, um, so that if somebody wants to friend you so they can see what's on there, you see where we, we're going with this and you can have, have problems. What we're doing with the LinkedIn project, the LinkedIn project is actually a place for you to craft a professional positive communication climate online. It's an evolving resume per se and it's, uh, it's also where a lot of people are getting jobs. And so the connections you can make with LinkedIn can actually help your career and craft something toward the goals and objectives you're really trying to reach. That's what we're here to do. So what I want you to do for your LinkedIn project is to go ahead and get a copy of the Startup of You. Get a LinkedIn profile and connect with me. Just like friending, if you will, on Facebook. So connect with me. Then what you're going to do is you're going to uh, look at every chapter from two through seven of the startup of you and at the back of the chapter it has sections that are already called in the next day and in the next week forget the other sections for right now what I want you to do to the best of your ability and how it relates to you is to actually do the things that are suggested in in the next day and in the next week to the best of your ability as it relates to you personally. Telling me it doesn't relate as an, as an excuse not to do anything will not get you a grade. Okay, so that, that being said, you're going to do the best you can with what you have and what you're being asked of. Once you do that, then you need to go back to your Blackboard class shell site, go to the LinkedIn Journal folder under the tab Syllabus and Assignments, go in there, and for that chapter, you're going to write two journal entries. The first, minimum of 100 words, complete sentences, just like the discussion board and don't upload documents. The first, you're going to call specifically in the next day. You're going to tell me what you did, what you were thinking when you did it. In other words, why did it actually apply to you this way and how you did it. And then you're going to give me another entry or another paragraph that you're going to actually title in the next week. And you're going to do exactly the same thing. Tell me what you did, what you were thinking, why you did it, because and, and how it applies to you. A minimum of 100 words, complete sentences, and the journals are just between you and I. Discussion boards, they're public. Everybody in the class can see it. 
journals just between you and I. So you actually do the journal assignment on Blackboard, but you do the work on LinkedIn. Continue to craft a good positive communication profile on LinkedIn and you will find in the long run that there are an awful lot of jobs, for instance, around the world that are only posted on LinkedIn. A good LinkedIn profile with good solid connections and good networking skills on LinkedIn can help you advance your career. Ask me questions as you go. I'm Dr. Mike. I'll see you in the next video.